Okay, it's plain to see here that with a record of six votes, the clear choice is Pokemon Platinum. Alright guys, here we go. It's Pokemon Platinum for the DS. Uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty obvious from the way the straw poll went, but here we go. We're just gonna sit through the movie. Platinum's not one of my all-time favorite games, but it's it's up there. It basically took Diamond and Pearl and optimized them for... The third game of the series, I don't know. There are some things you can only get in Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. It, it took the best of both worlds, so to speak. Uh, there's, it's more optimized than Diamond and Pearl. Uh, We got Giratina here as the mascot. He's, he's pretty cool. Ooh, I opened the menu. So, hello, Giratina. Uh, hmm. Alright. So, let me set up my uh, control settings. Alright. It does not allow the use of the joypad, so unfortunately. Good old Giratina. Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. I don't know what the hotkey is for the frame limiter. Uh, I think it's, yeah, okay. Oh, hey, awesome. We're loading save states. <laughs> we're, we're already failing, okay. How about that? There we go. Okay, that's fine. No, it's not. Okay, how can I um, uh, set um, uh, the hotkey for a key that won't? There. Let's try that. Okay, that doesn't get in the way. So, I'll be turning on frame limiter when I need it. Turn off frame limiter when I need it. It's basically a speed up. Yeah, so here's how this is going to go down. Basically, I'm going to catch dual-typed Pokémon, and the Pokémon, the Pokémon's second type has to be the primary type of the next dual-type Pokémon I catch. And when I say catch, I mean make part of murder my own team. So, if I catch it, if I like. If I want to like catch other Pokemon, I can do that. But to make it my team member, it has to be the primary type of the secondary type my previous team member was. And I'm also imposing some certain other rules on it. Uh, like, if I find a shiny Pokemon at all in this playthrough, the entire thing just resets. Like, resets. If the shiny is a pure type, then I have to, like, like use its type as the primary type of the next Pokemon I catch. And like uh, if it has if it's a dual type then I use its secondary type as the primary type for the next dual type Pokemon I catch and so on and so forth.
touch the button in the middle of the Pokeball, if you'd please. Okay. Hello, Booneary. We humans live side alongside Pokemon as friends. At times, we play together, and at other times, we work together. Yeah, same exact dialogue I heard over and over. Uh, I hope my microphone's um, uh, loud enough. I'm not even sure if it is. Like, uh, the Windows 10 creators upgrade like forced itself upon my computer, and I think it reset my microphone settings. So, like, my, my audio is really quiet. Mm -hmm. So, here we get into the part where we have to decide the player's gender. So, since I said that I would be going with my Pokemon OC, I am going with the girl. I'm not, my character is. And here we go. Hurry for using the mouse. Madeline. Oh, okay. I guess we can't do that then, hmm. Good thing I have a backup OC. There, we'll just use her friend then. Always one step of the game. Alright. That is also the name of my Ultra Link character. Oh god, this spaz. Okay, I had a name for this guy, but I already forgot it, so... Okay, I think I finally found the name. Uh, if anybody's watched Red vs. Blue, well, then you're probably gonna get this. Caboose. Yep. Unfortunately, it kind of took me a while to get that one, but I couldn't really think of a personality that really fit Barry too much. It's not like any of the other names, nicknames I've picked for any of my previous rivals have made too much sense. Alright. So now we get a broadcast from Professor Rowan. Uh, Professor Rowan is... Probably one of my favorite professors in the entire Pokemon series. He he takes no shit. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Can I access the menu now? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's the A button. There we go. Yes, please. And save. Saving a lot of data. Oh, I'm gonna speed this up a little. God, that takes a while to save. So, now I'm actually gonna do a save state. And here we go. I don't even I don't even watch red and blue, but my friend Josh does, so it's more of a flavor flavor text for me. And Josh slash N Wowie can make all the the um, red versus blue jokes. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah, he finds you for like everything. Oh, thanks for that. Very random note. And there's the player's mother, Joanna. Mm. Well, thanks for that. Uh, fourth gen. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. We, we get it. So here's Twinley Town. Oh, look, look at there. Nice random black sparkles all over. That's probably emulator issues. If I had my actual copy of Pokemon Platinum and a 3DS capture card, you wouldn't see them. But unfortunately, you have to make do. 
so I think we have to go find the uh, caboose and that's clearly not his house and that's clearly not his house and that's clearly his house thud in huge letters And of course the freaking hyperactive idiot forgets something so we have to chase him back into his house. Yep. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? Uh, interesting fact about the um, arrival in this game. Uh, as you progress the game and finally beat it, like... He becomes the second strongest trainer in the entire game series. Uh, uh, Red, at the end of Gold and Silver, his highest level Pokemon was 81. Of course, it was Pikachu. Uh, Barry here, uh, once you fight, I think, the Elite Four like 20 times, his starter, fully evolved starter, gets up to level 84. Now... And the, re and the Gold and Silver remakes, Red got his Pikachu up to level 88, but Barry's still very goddamn strong, so... Here we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't really matter which starter that I pick here, since I'm not going to be using a starter unless it's, uh... I'm thinking Piplup, but the lineup I have in mind kind of messes with Piplup a bit, kind of messes with that a bit, so. <laughs> must, stress, must stress the importance of the tall grass. You never know. A badger could jump out at you. There needs to be a badger Pokemon. I like the, I think like Linoon comes close. Duh. Seriously? Alright. Nope, can't walk to can't walk down. Can't walk right. Can't walk left and then right. I have to approach it from the left. Because that's what all the cool kids do. Yep, these are Pokeballs, even though you've probably been playing for like 10, 20 years now. Let's check every single one of them. One of them might be shiny. Uh, I'll choose Piplup anyway. Because... <sighs> Another one of my rules is the Pokemon in any line can be used as long as well, at least one of its line can follow the rule. Like... If I evolve Piplup into Empoleon, that would count since it gains a secondary type steel. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> uh, and we get our first rival fight. Yeah, he's pretty friggin' hyper. So, uh, layout's pretty much standard Pokemon fare. 
Sorry, I have a bit of a cold at the moment, but that'll be fine. That hurt you. Yeah, you uh, you just uh, keep withdrawing there, Turtwig. I do like the um, uh, trainer comments in the middle of the battles, that's a nice touch. Uh, this is the generation that split them and moves into physical and special, no matter what type they were. Uh, so that's just, that's kind of interesting, I really enjoy that. Okay, uh, is this guy seriously just using only withdraw? Because... Okay, now I'm only doing one damage. Was that your plan all along? Yep, but he's only doing three, so I should, like, completely outlast him. Amount of experience. I don't think that um, uh, the experience for beating starters really, really, really dropped until like next gen, which is generation five. See ya. Uh, I'm gonna pause there. Hold on. I'm actually gonna stop it for a second. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Uh, my resolution was. 640 by 360. Yay, running shoes. Now I can go marginally faster. Excellent. Whoa. Press the B button. What is this B button, you ask? Don't ask about it. Alright. There we go. Ignore the black dots. Oh god. You again? Yep, we're just gonna go catch a legendary Pokemon with level 6s. And this is the only time in the game where Barry follows you around. Don't know what's so special about Lair Barry Lake front of them, the fact that me sprits in it. <laughs> even though I didn't even read the sign. Nope, you don't look like anybody suspicious. <laughs> yep, with the several Pokeballs that we don't have. Okay, accent E balls. Be because you know you totally have to, to pronounce the pronounce the accent, right? Oh my God. Yep, because he. All right, whatever. Let's just make our way to the the um, uh, village. Uh. Yeah. Oh, what's this going to be? Let me guess. It's a Bidoof. Bidoof. However it's pronounced. I before E, except after C. Uh, I don't feel like fighting you. Alright. So, onwards we go. Yeah, welcome to San Jib Town, and there's Lucas. 
Uh, not Lucas from Mother 3. And... Thud. Yep, he's just so much in a hurry, he friggin... Yeah, and then Lucas lampshades it. So, let's go. Uh, this is the Pokedex thing. Uh, you don't need to... Okay, uh... Nickname. Oh, what do we want a nickname, Piplup? After all, there is or is not a chance that we may be using this thing throughout the entire playthrough. So let's see. I will nickname this thing after a Dutch footballer. Snyder. For no innocent, an ostensible reason. Yeah, I'm happy with the nickname. Okay. Yep, yeah, and then Rowan uh, gives you the Pokedex. Nothing new or original to see here. and super duper and all sorts of words used on Barney even though I hate that show. <coughs> I like that. Yeah, and then we got the Grand Tour. There's the Pokemon Center. There's the Pokemon Mart. to heal? Uh, no I don't. So let's uh, make our way back to uh, Little Root Town. Oh, little Root Town. Twin Leaf Town, I mean. I'm still friggin' thinking about Pokemon Emerald. Yay, it's my very own journal. I'll treasure it forever and always. Dear. Caboose's mom. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see the responses to that. <laughs> oh, man. God. I still think that my voice is way too quiet. I'm like a few inches from the microphone. We got Oak's parcel. We must go all the way to Kanto and deliver this to Oak. Jubilife City, huh? Alright. Now I go back to San Jim Town. Yeah, this is Twin Leaf Town. God damn it, why did I say Little Root? Uh, ignoring you for now. Tutorial you've seen a million times. Pokemon catching. Off. And of course, Lucas takes the starter that neither you or your rival took. Yay. And he caught a bite if, and I'm sure you'll cher cherish that bite if. Alright. So. Oh, there's a Shinx. But it's pure type, so. Or pure electric type, so we won't be bothering with it. Uh, 
Alright, so... Okay, well, there's the Starly. You know what, why not? Let's get it. I actually wasn't planning on using Starly, but I can make an exception. Oh wow, that was a lot of damage. Thank you for using Grell, I did not want to kill you. Let's use our P-O-K accent E ball to catch the S-T-R S-T- Oh my god. S-T-A-R-L-Y I am the smart S-M-R-T I mean S-M-A-R-T Ugh. Well, how about I name this after my favorite anime character? No. No. Well, it evolves into something with a friggin' Elvis do, so... It, it, it requires a, a character that has a ridiculous hairdo. Ridiculous hairdo? Uh, and you're carrying something. What is it? Holy crap, Yashberry. And you have a quiet nature. Uh, I'm actually uh, not quite sure what a quiet nature is. And Pokemon Platinum doesn't even tell you that. It's dirt and so, ha, heart gold, soul silver, or highlight when it's highlighted. So, quiet nature. Uh, oh, okay, that's actually really bad. And even though I don't play Pokemon competitively, I'm going to not accept that, and I will have to catch another Starly, so. Uh, see you when I get back for um, uh, the Starly with the nature that I want. Okay, I'm back, and I caught a Starly that I wanted. It's still nicknamed Juno because crazy hairdo. Uh, uh, Impish nature that raises defense and lowers special attack. Special attack I don't care about at all, but it has a nice defense. And there's more attack. So, attack wasn't affected through either of the two Starly's natures, but this one has more attack, so I'm guessing that's to do with IVs, so i uh, boot for that. And uh, I really used the other one, so I think I'm going to call it um, an end for here, and I'm going to set up another straw poll. Uh, which of you guys, what do you think I should um, base my next Pokemon capture off of the final evolution of Piplup or the Starly family. Uh, leave me comments. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this because uh, you'll you'll get alerts from me as and this is a this is I'm swear to god this is gonna be an ongoing series. I ain't ditching this like I did Emerald for a few months and when we get back, uh, we're gonna be going to Jubilife City and potentially catching another, uh, remember. So yeah, see you then.